الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. These are phrases, Allahu Akbar, it's a phrase that we say throughout the days, the days of Eid. These are the, this is a phrase that we say and we repeat to ourselves that Allah is greater and Allah is greater. We affirm to ourselves over and over and again that Allah is the greatest. And this Eid, is a, this, this Eid signifies this, the sacrifice of Ibrahim alayhi salam. That he sacrificed his own love and desire for his son with the command of Allah, in, in, in the place of the command of Allah Azza wa Jal, when Allah Azza wa Jal asks him to sacrifice his own son, his own beloved son, he says, what is his response? That, of course, if this is your command, I should do it. And he tells, that's the sacrifice of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Then we, if you look at the sacrifice of the son, Ismail alayhi salam, when he's told that my Lord says that I'm to sacrifice you, what is his response? سَتَجِدُنِي إِنْشَاءَ اللَّهُ مِنَ الصَّابِرِينَ That you're going to find me Allah willing, God willing, amongst those who are patient. That, uh, that this is the sacrifice of Ismail alayhi salam. That, Ya Allah, if this is the command that you gave me, then this is what I accept. I sacrifice what I desire, or what I perceive to have desired for what you, for what you ask of me, Ya Allah. And this is something that we should inculcate in ourselves, the concept of sacrifice. That every single one of us is sacrificing something. We might be sacrificing time off of work today. We're sacrificing the shade of the trees over here by sitting here in the sun. That we're sacrificing, you know, a day off, people want to sleep in. There's a lot we're sacrificing throughout our, throughout our nights and days. But is it sufficient and is it in the way that Allah Azza wa Jal asks us to sacrifice? That's a question we should ask to ourselves. And if we find if we look towards the guidance of the Prophet Sallallahu if we look towards the guidance of the Qur'an, then the method of which we sacrifice what we want versus what Allah commands, the method by which we recognize Allahu Akbar, that Allah is greater beyond, Allah is better than what I, Allah is greater than what I desire, Allah is greater than my comfort, Allah is greater than this, this luxury that I want to have, if we recognize that and we find and we find that in the Sunnah, we implement in our lives, whether we have the comfort in, the, in this in this dunya or not, whether we are able to find the comfort through our sacrifice in this dunya or not, with, with absolute assurance, we'll find it in the akhirah. And we say that the best speech is the, is the, is the speech of Allah, the truest speech is the speech of Allah, and that the best guidance is the guidance of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi this is, this is the, These are the words that we repeat every single khutbah. And there's not much further than we need to look to than these two statements. That, in أَصْدَقَ hadithi kitab Allah, That the best of speech is the speech of Allah. وَخَيْرُ الْهَدِي هَدِي مُحَمَّدٍ صلى الله عليه وسلم And that the guidance, the best of guidance, is the guidance of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There's not much more that we need to explain on this. We've already started the Eid Khutbah late. We're already sitting in the sun for a while. So inshallah, we'll end with that. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfir Allah li wa lakum unisad muslimin. Ya qawm istaghfiru innahu huwa al-ghafur rahim We ask Allah Azza wa that He makes us people whose desires are in accordance with what Allah Azza wa asks of us. We ask Allah that our halwa, the, the thing that we desire, the things that we have, that this is in complete accordance with what the Prophet asks us. Asks us of. We ask Allah Azza wa that He makes us people who are people of sacrifice, who are willing to sacrifice those comforts and those luxuries that we might have in the heart, and that we do that for the sake of Allah Azza wa He makes us people of sacrifice, makes us people of solace in that sacrifice, that we have serenity when we do that sacrifice, that we have a sense of salam when we do that sacrifice, and that our only source of salam, Allah Azza wa we say, Allahumma tal salam, wa minka salam, tawarati adam jalal wa ikram, hayi wa khila dar salam, wa minna atina fi dunya hasra, wa fi akhirati hasra, wa minna adab al-nar, wa minna adana min azwajina wa dhurriyatina, wa minna ta'ayni wa jahanna min muttaqina imana, we ask Allah Azza wa Jalla, that He preserve for us, and that He reward, and that He 
and then he have mercy on our teachers, particularly our first teachers, our parents. So he say, Rabbi Rahmuna, Kima Rabbi Yani Sabira, Rabbi Rahmuna, Kima Rabbi Yani Sabira, Rabbi Rahmuna, Kima Rabbi Yani Sabira. We ask Allah that He have mercy on them, as He had mercy on us when we were young. We ask Allah Azza wa Jalla that He allows us to recognize that Allah and His angels send their prayers and peace upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and that we're asking the same. Inna Allah wa Malaikatuh Yusallu Ala Nabi Ya Ayyuha Ladina Amin Yusallu Ala Nabi Tasima Allahumma Salli Ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa Ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad. وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أتباع سيدنا محمد وعلى أحباب سيدنا محمد وعلى أمة سيدنا محمد وذلك وصلي وصلي عليه إن الله يأمر بالعزل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعيذكم لعلكم تذكرون واذكروا الله يذكركم ودعوه يستجيب لكم ولذيك الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تسعون الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد عيد مبارك كل عام وأنتم بخير